Can we just all take a moment to appreciate the fact that there is a freaking kangaroo in a Zelda game? Like, seriously, just contemplate that for a second. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Anyways, I'm Colorful Artie, and this is another episode of Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons Cursed. In the last episode, we beat the third dungeon, Poison Mop Slayer. In this episode, we're going to be making headway to the fourth dungeon, but there's no way we're actually going to reach the fourth dungeon in this episode. Because... We're here, and the fourth dungeon is, like, over in this area. Yeah, we have to go over across... Really? Oh, that's a good start we're off to. <sighs> I hate Rock Deku Scrubs so much, like, you can't kill them in a cursed playthrough. Because they'll kill you before the, uh, you can kill them. Alright, new strategy. Also, you'll notice that sign up there. If you dig in that patch of grass right beneath the sign, you'll get a rain. But we've already got that given rain, and we have no use for it. Uh, uh, we gotta make it out of Spool Swamp. Okay, good. Yay, heart. And I am just going to enter this building to create a checkpoint, so if I happen to die again, I will spawn right here, and not back at the third dungeon. Maple's coming, yes she is indeed. <gasps> POTION! You again? Do you have grudge against me or what? Thanks to you, all the stuff flew out of my bag. Well, I'll just take your stuff too. I got the potion. Oh, that was lucky. Like, I couldn't have asked for something better than that. Ah, you little, I'll remember this. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, Maple can occasionally drop potions, and that's very nice, because potions are... I kid you not, 300 rupees a pop. And that's after you've completed a certain part of the trading sequence. Alright, well, on that note... So see that hole? We can now jump over that, and as long as the P-Hats don't kill me, good. So, up, uh, kill the like likes or knock them in the water. Look at that pose. So now we fixed the bridge, and I can't remember what this place is called. Natsu Prairie. We are in the Natsu Prairie. And this is where your animal companion you'll need a lot. But first, Great Fairy Found needs to heal me because this area is pretty treacherous. So, on your playthrough, if you do not have Ricky as your pet, your uh, area of Tatsu Prairie is going to look a lot different. Like, for starters, there aren't going to be a lot of cliffs. If you have Moosh, there's going to be a lot of sequences of pits you have to fly over. And if you have Dimitri as your pet, uh, there will just be water and currents and waterfalls everywhere. So help me, Ricky, if you appear at the bottom of the screen. Good. So this is a long trek towards the eastern part of map. Eastern part of map. The eastern part of the map. Sunken City is the next area we're gonna go to, and that's the place with the potion shop. Unfortunately, the potion shop doesn't sell potions yet. Kinda dumb, but whatever. Look at just how amazing Ricky is at fighting. Goodbye. Aww. Tornadoes aren't an instant kill. That's disappointing. Alright. So this area is just kind of boring. Ah, oh, that's bad design. <laughs> okay, that was pretty awesome. I remember on my first playthrough I got Moosh as my pet. And I was not that great at tapping A, which you need to do in order for Moosh to fly. So I had a really hard time reaching Sunken City. Which is why I recommend getting Ricky as your main pet on your first playthrough, because he's the easiest to get and the, probably the easiest to use. This is the Great Moblin's castle. We can't go in yet, because we can't swim. He's got a moat. Also, I'm pretty sure Like Likes won't eat your shield if you're on Ricky when you hit one, but I'm not taking that chance. And alright, we are through the Natsu Prairie. 
You, you boy, this is the Great Moblin's Realm. If you wish to get by alive, pay my toll. <laughs> Yeah, so just ignore him. So if we go down here, boom, we're in Woods of Winter. However, if we jump down that cliff, we're gonna have to go for the Natsu Prairie again. So, forget that. Ah, you're back. Bombs away. And welcome to Sunken City, Land of Water. Ew, it smells like medicine. I can't stand it. See ya. See ya, Ricky. The whole city's flooded, but since I can't swim, I'm just here blowing bubbles. That's so sad. Can you jump? That's what I'm doing. My pop's a master diver. He had a secure diving spot, but he never told me where it was. Stingy guy. So yeah, this city's just flooded. I have no idea the story behind this. But... Whatever. Ugh, I got... It's the shopkeeper from Link's Awakening. Legends say some sort of treasure sleeps on the summit. It's a boy's dream. I think about it so much I can't sleep. Is he supposed to be a little boy? Or like a fully grown balding man? I don't know. Ow. Really, Link? You can't just like swim two inches? Swimming's not that hard. Oh. Completely empty house. That's kind of weird. That has a purpose later on in the game. Oh, yes. And here we get the final kind of seed in the game, Gale Seeds. Their gusts can take you wherever you want to go. Open your seeds after you use them. So when we use Gale Seeds, we can warp to any tree seed in the entire game. So like the Ember Tree Seed, it, the Ember Seed Tree in Horon Village, the Mystery Seed Tree in uh, Woods of Winter, Spool Swamp, like all those places. Oh, I found something weird. It's a monster. It came to attack the city. It did. He must protect. We must protect the city. Ha, take that. This is Dimitri the Dodongo, so now we're at the part of the game where Ricky briefly leaves us and now we'll use Dimitri to get around Sunken City. Where are the city's safety patrol? We're protecting the city, but without weapons we're helpless. Do you have bombs? Yes I do. There's nothing to fear now, let's go out on patrol. I didn't say you could have my bombs, I just said I did have them. What am I doing giving bombs to little kids? That is so dangerous. You saved me, I am Dimitri. You can't swim, I can even swim up waterfalls. You helped me, now I help you. Get on my back. I chomp when I, you press A, and I swim like a fish, even up waterfalls. You can also carry me using the power bracelet. So Dimitri's quite slow, even compared to Ricky, but if he goes in water, he's fast. And now we can actually use him to get around Sunken City, which is nice. So Dimitri's the easiest- I can even swim up waterfalls, try it, that's the third time you've mentioned that, dude. I- <laughs> Dude, I heard you like the first three times. If he says it again. Yes, he can, does. So yeah, Dimitri's probably the simplest to use since you literally just move, and you push A and he'll eat enemies in front of him. Never mind, Dimitri's terrible. But he can swim up waterfalls, which is something Link can never do in the entire game, which is kind of nice. I am the Master Diver. To become my pupil, go to the next cave and open all four eyes in a single stroke, and bring back proof that you have done so. Alright, a test. I accept your challenge. I've never been a fan of Dimitri, just because, like, once you get the flippers, which we're about to, you outgrow him, like, instantly. Like, seriously. Alright, so these are the statues. We have to hit them all in a single stroke and pr bring back proof that we have done so. Well, here's how you do it. Spin attack, baby! And now a ladder appears and... We get the master's plaque. Take it to the master. So that's our proof. And after we talk to the master, Dimitri's going to leave us. And we will never see him again. Dimitri is also interesting that he's the only uh, animal companion who can actually uh, enter Sunken City. Oh, that's my master's plaque. You've passed my test. Very well then. I accept you as my pupil. Take these flippers. You got Zora's flippers. You can now go far for swim. Press A to swim, B to dive. I'll teach you my secret route to Mount Cuckoo. There's a diving hole among the reefs in town. Use the flippers I gave you. Alright. So now we have the flippers. We can actually swim without Dimitri. Which means that... He's gone, and we'll never see him again. Oh well. Sure, I'll point a gash of seed here. Okay, that's a bad location for a house. Hooray. At 
long last we can finally swim. We can... Uh, I don't know why flippers make him, like, able to swim. I think flippers make it harder to swim. Hmm. Alright. Alright, so now we are fairly close to the next dungeon, but we still have a ways to go. I'm going to use Gale Seeds. So I'm trying to think... Yeah, let's go back to Horon Village. We've got some rains to be appraised. Welcome, do come in, I'm Tavasu Jewelers. Alright, so this is the friendship ring, that's the ring he actually gave me at the beginning of the game. Discovery ring, sent soft earth nearby. So basically, if there's a gaseous seed plot on that, uh, square, you'll hear a little chime. The peace ring, no explosion if you're holding the bomb. Ooh, that's not helpful. Moblin ring, you can become a moblin, but you can't do anything when you're a moblin. Really? Another moblin ring? Two in a row? That's insane. Let's see if Bippin' and Blossom's kid is doing better. He was sick last time we checked on him, so... Rome has gotten better, thank you. Oh, that's good to hear. <sighs> Nothing new at the shop. There is nothing new under the sun in this world. Sure, I'll point a gaseous seed here. I wonder how many gaseous seeds we have. We have one. And we still have that iron pot. Alright. Let's go back to Sunken City. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the next part of the map, and I think we'll leave the episode off there. Just because we still have a significant portion to get go through in order to reach the uh, fourth dungeon. So, you can dive if we swim up here to this dead end and dive. We enter a room with Cheap Cheeps. They are... Man, this game blatant re recycles Mario enemies in this game. I totally forgot about that. We've got Cheap Cheeps, we've got Flops. Uh, Link's Awakening had Goombas and Chain Chomps and Piranha Plants. This is why I love the Game Boy Zelda games. Alright, so we have officially reached Mount Cuckoo, and that's where we're going to leave the episode off today. So I'm Color Forty, hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless.